What's up everyone, Canyon here. I am going to kind of do what I did in the last video, which was last night. I know I said I was going to record another video right when that one was done, but I uh, pretty much stopped the last video and was like, no fucking way I'm recording another video. I just felt like shit, and um, I do feel a little better than I considering I don't have to work tomorrow, so that's always a good fucking feeling. Someone messaged me. Um, but I'm going to do what I did last night. I'm going to just show you... Uh, an item that I have recently acquired, and I am so fucking excited for this to have finally come uh, after a month-long delay. So I should have had this for a while by now, but, uh, you know, better late than never. What I'm going to be talking to you about is this. This is the new Swallow the Sun album, uh, Songs from the North, 1, 2, and 3. Um, this is a 3 LP set here. Uh, if you guys are familiar with the album, then uh, you are familiar with the fact that it is three albums long, which is fucking crazy because three albums is, you know, for Swallow the Sun, it's over three hours long, uh, over three hours of music, um, which is incredibly impressive considering, you know, it's only been three years since their last release, so uh, these dudes have been hard at work, apparently. But yeah, I'm going to show you here because it comes in like a big slip case, so see, Swallow the Sun, Sun from North 1, 2, and 3. That's the spine which I showed, and you get the song, the track listing here. Um, part one is gloom, part two is beauty, and part three is despair. And those, their little titles are very, very fitting to um, the content, uh, lyrical, uh, lyrically speaking, the content on each one of the albums. So, like I said, it's like a slipcase, and you see one, two, and three there. Just like that. Kind of like that Devin Townsend one that I have. Uh, but yeah, it slides out like this. And I'm going to show you what uh, these look like. Because I was personally blown away when I saw this. Because um, you, you, this is like 44 bucks or something like that through Century Media. And, you know, I was not expecting this um, in terms of like high quality packaging. This shit is awesome. Uh, and totally worth the money. So, like I said, three records here. Yeah. One, two, and three, like that. And I'm going to go through and just show you each one of them real quick. Because, like I said, it's really high quality stuff. And it's, seriously, it's very impressive. Uh, so here you got uh, the first one, which is Gloom. Gloom? Gloom, yes, Gloom. This is, no, this is uh, Gloom, Song from the North 1. Uh, and I believe this is the actual, just the, like, base album cover for this. Because this is the CD version, uh, and that's like that. Um, I do have this, I did buy the CD version, even though this comes with the CDs. And I hate this style of packaging. This just stupid, like, CDs are just in here. I feel like they could have done so much more with this, but, um, fuck it, I'm showing the record. Uh, also, if you're wondering what we're listening to, if you can fucking hear it, Goat Moon. Vario, Vario, I think. So fucking good. This, right here. I'm not really fond of the album cover by any means. Um, I don't know who this bitch is, nor do I understand why she's wearing a bird's nest on her head. I don't think that's a bird's nest, but, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't fucking know. But, uh, no track listing on the back or anything like that. But these are on all three on gatefold uh, jackets. They have ja gatefold jackets, which is very cool. Uh, songs to the North, songs from songs from the North, Part One, which is Gloom. Like I said, is pretty much what everyone was expecting. Swallow the Sun to come out with uh, as a follow-up to Emerald Forest and the Blackbird, which I also have. Uh, this is pretty much the obvious next step that this band would have taken uh pretty much following in the footsteps of um their progression into a softer band um they pretty much mostly abandoned the really really heavy stuff um on part one of this three album album three album record i don't know um, but this is pretty much, like I said, what you would be expecting. Uh, even less harsh vocals on this one 
than on uh, Emerald Forest and the Blackbird. And everyone it says that the clean vocals from the vocalist, I'm not sure the vocalist's name. Shit. I don't know his name. Um, everyone says his vocals, his clean vocals have gotten better on this, and I don't know that I agree with that. Um, I feel like... I don't know. I just feel like they had a little bit more balls on the last one. Uh, but, you know, that being said, they still do, they do sound very, very nice on this. But, I'm going to show you the gate bolt here. Part one, or gloom, is, uh, it, you know, it's super melodic. It is, lyrically, it's very sad. Um, you know, which is what they were going for. And musically, it's just gorgeous. So, uh, even better, I mean, this is a, this is a double LP. I'm just going to show you one side because they're pretty I identical. Like that. Gay-ass Christmas lights. Yeah, like that. But even fucking more impressive, Century Media has very kindly... If I can get this shit back in... Motherfucker. Don't do this to me. Alright. Um, let's see if I can fucking find it. This is so in uh, this is so entertaining. I'm so glad you guys watch this shit. I put a lot of work into these videos, as you can tell. Um, so yeah, really appreciate it. It includes the CDs for each one of them, um, which is why I I mean I I bought this anyways because I wanted the proper packaging instead of you know because I knew when they it said that it was coming with CDs I knew they'd be in these little things like this, which is still really cool. Um, I'd rather them do this over a download uh, code, so yeah, it's super awesome they include that. But this is part one, uh, Gloom, and this is very, very good. It's not as good as Emerald Forest and the Blackbird, in my opinion, but um, you know, the, the other two albums, you know, added with that one kind of make up for it. So this is part two, Beauty. Um, this is entirely acoustic, uh, so no harsh vocals at all. But it again, it it still follows in the the uh, somber lyrical themes, which again I'm okay with. I really like stuff like that, and this is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I when I heard that they were doing a three part album. That, and one of the albums were going to be an acoustic album, I was really, really excited because I love acoustic music. You know, like a, just a guy and a guitar singing songs and stuff like that. And it's it's a bit more than just one guy and a guitar, but it's um, it's very, very good. I really, really love this. This whole thing, this whole, like the packaging is just gorgeous too. You see the, it's that lady again. There's a little thing on the back. It's not in English, but at the end it does say, Rest in Peace, Dear Father. So, um, yeah. But, uh, that's the gatefold. I guess it's a close-up picture of this bitch's hat or something. I don't fucking know. I don't know. It's a hat. Why is she wearing that on her head? <laughs> I don't know. But, um, yeah, you got the lyrics and stuff again. Like that. And, I don't know if the... Labeled. I haven't actually listened to this on vinyl yet. I have the first album, but uh, not this one, and it's like stuck. You know, it's fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pull it out right now. Um, yes, like this. And I don't know if I mentioned, but this is Swallow the Sun's sixth album. I don't know if you want to call it a three albums or one. I'm just gonna call it, you know, one three-part album. And this is their sixth album. So definitely a different band from when they started, though. Uh, and they're from Finland. If I didn't say that, which I don't think I did. But this also comes with a CD, but again, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pull it out because there's no reason for me to do so. So, yeah. And here is the third and final album. This is Despair. This is the reason you want this. Um, oh, the guy's name is Miko, or Miko, the vocalist. Oh, but he doesn't even write the lyrics, never mind. All music and lyrics by Yuha, J-U-H-A, the guitarist. So I guess that's the guy who uh, writes the lyrics anyway, so. Um, that's not what I'm talking about, but that's not even what I was talking about. I'm talking about the guy's vocals. Yeah, so it is that Miko guy. 
God, fuck, I'm so dumb. Anyway, Despair, part three. This is entirely different from anything on the other two. This is a Funeral Doom album. Funeral Doom. When I heard that this was going to be part of the album, this is what sold me on it. Uh, this was, I believe this was the third single that they released from, because they released one single from all three of them. And this was the third one, and when I heard this shit, I was just, I was fucking floored, dude. I was so, so excited this was going to be a thing. Uh, Swallow the Sun doing Funeral Doom, I knew it was going to be fucking good, but I didn't know it was going to be this fucking good. And again, lyrically, this is just totally fucking sad. And this is probably my favorite of the three album covers, too. But I really like the picture on the inside of this one. It's kind of dark. But, yeah, it fits the whole uh, despair theme of the third album. Um, yeah, this is my favorite of the three. No fucking doubt. If you like Funeral Doom, you'll like this shit, I promise. So there's, there's the band members. Six band members, which is more than I thought, but whatever. Swallow the Sun, and uh, as I say, lyrics, and that girl on the inside. This shit is so good, guys. Seriously. Um, I would listen to a song from all three because they're all very different. But this is the one to seriously go like, dive headfirst into because this shit is so fucking good. Um, to uh, double LP for this one as well as the first one. It's one LP for the second one. So that's five records, three CDs, and this big slipcase thing for like 40 bucks, dude. It's... Seriously, and being that they're high quality like that, and like, you know, like gatefolds with double records, it's so fucking, like, it's so worth the money that you're paying. So I would definitely recommend uh, checking that out. I'm going to leave a, a link to all, a, a song from all three of the records, as well as a link to where you can buy um, the set itself, you know, just the Century Media page with all the, um, the options, because uh, there are a few. Also, do you guys like this shirt? I like this shirt. I like this shirt a fucking lot. This is a brand new Midnight shirt. Um, Hills Headbanger just released it like a couple weeks ago or something. But uh, it's got that on the side. Duh. That on the back. So badass, dude. Plus, I love long sleeve shirts. So, uh, I digress. Um, that's it. I'm just going to leave you links. And you guys are going to look at those links. And you guys are going to listen to music. And you guys are going to fucking love it. And you guys are going to buy this shit for yourself. Um... That's what these videos are for. So do that, and I will be back very, very soon with more shit for you guys. I'm sure it's so exciting for every one of you. Uh, it's not as exciting for me because I'm terrible at making these videos. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. Thanks for watching. See ya.